What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my prescription and sunglasses collection. My name is Lonnie and these are Lonnie's Lessons. <laughs> First, I'm going to start off with my prescription glasses. First up are my Saint Laurent SL107 eyeglasses. I purchased these from Neiman Marcus last call in Brooklyn, New York. The frame is made of acetate and the minimal design make these my most versatile pair of prescription glasses because well, clear goes with everything. These beauties are the Harvest Glasses by Karen Walker in the color Crazy Tort Smoke Mono. They feature gold detailing on the bridge and on the temple. I love how bold and quirky these are, and my favorite part are that there are two arrows on each hinge on either side of the glasses that just add a really cool touch. I purchased these from Nordstrom Rack, and a fun fact is that these are actually sunglasses, and yes, I break a few rules with my eyewear. These are the Bell glasses in black plastic. The large aviator style give these a vintage yet modern edge. I purchased these from Glasses USA, which is a website where you can buy your glasses online. I must admit that I was a bit skeptical about buying glasses online at first, but the process was super easy on the site. All I had to do was upload my prescription, choose my frames, and check out. After that, my glasses were delivered to my doorstep within a few days. I love the style of these and I will definitely be checking back for more styles on Glasses USA. Last but not least, to round off my prescription glasses collection are the Gucci GG 1078S glasses. They are in this dark tortoise color and I just love these. They are pretty neutral and because of the dark brown color, they sometimes kind of come off as black. So they're really easy to match with neutral outfits, but also you can get away with wearing black or other colors. I really enjoy these and these were purchased from Neiman Marcus last call as well. And they definitely give me that collegiate nerdy vibe that I love. I wanted to talk a little bit about some tips about purchasing glasses. So my first tip is for prescription glasses is to search online. I purchased a pair of my glasses from Glasses USA, which is an online glasses retailer, and I had a really good experience. So if you're not finding what you want in store, you may want to check online. My next tip for prescription glasses is to purchase your frames at a different store than the optometrist. So a lot of times our optometrists, they raise the prices because they're the middleman. So the price of the frames may be really expensive, upwards of four, five, six hundred dollars $600, especially for designer frames. So for a lot of my designer frames, I actually purchased them from luxury discount retailers like Nordstrom Rack or Neiman Marcus Last Call. That will help you to save almost sometimes upwards of 90% on your frames. And you simply take your frames to the optometrist and just have them to add the lenses and you're all set to go. Sometimes they do give you a little bit of a disclaimer and let you know that if something happens to the glasses that it's at your own risk because it's not a pair of frames, but hey, I'm willing to take that risk for a discount. My next tip for prescription glasses is to know what shape fits your face and know what style fits your face. There's hundreds of different types of glasses. There's plastic frames, there's metal frames, there's everything in between. There's rimless, there's like the half rim. So you want to try on as many pairs as you can just to get a sense of what's the best fit for your face shape. There's also online software tools that can help you to do a virtual try on of glasses. My last prescription glasses tip is to make sure that you are getting your eye exam every two years and that all of your glasses are in the same prescription. Sometimes we have older prescriptions and then we get an update where our prescription has changed and we don't get those lenses switched over. That's actually not good for your eyes. I am not an optometrist, but an opt optometrist told me this and you wanna make sure that you're not straining your eyes by wearing different glasses with different prescriptions. Now we're gonna get into my sunglasses collection. I don't have a whole lot of sunglasses, but I do like wearing sunglasses on nice, bright summer days. First up are these pair that I actually snagged from Buffalo Exchange. I really like these because they have one single lens that has this really cool iridescent kind of green and blue reflective coating on it. And it has this black detailing that goes across the brow line. These are just really cool. They have that really edgy kind of goggle vibe that was really in a few years ago. 
Next up are my Forever 21 Silver Mirror Reflective Aviator in this large lens. These are so cool. They definitely block out all the haters. They give you that nice, crisp look that you're looking for that's super bold and adds pop to your outfit. I actually picked these up in Miami from Forever 21 because I forgot my sunglasses in my suitcase, but they have a really cool all silver body and they have some clear translucent ear pieces for comfort in the back. But yeah, I really enjoy these. The next pair are these blue and gold cat eye frames that I got from downtown Miami. I got these from some random gift shop that was closing and I think they were like $10. But anyway, they're really cool. They're a little bit different. I like the kind of feminine edge that they have, but they also have enough structure to still be masculine enough for me and i think they're super cool and i wear these when i am looking to look a little bit more eclectic and artsy and last but not least are my all-time favorite sunglasses which are these black and gold glasses they have this gold brow bar and they're just so cool they're so classic they're so just like i don't know they are just a vibe i love these i wear them with everything they're black so they go with everything i recently wore these in paris i have two pair the other pair are clear and gold and they also are the same exact shape i just love these they have a reflective lens and they just fit my face so well And now I want to get into some sunglasses tips. So my first tip for sunglasses is to use them as prescription glasses. That's right. A lot of times sunglasses have much better styles and they're more bold. I like bold pops of color and different materials. And sometimes the standard prescription glasses just don't have that range. So my suggestion is to take your sunglasses and to get clear lenses put into them and make them into prescription glasses. My next tip for sunglasses is not to spend too much money. I tend to lose my sunglasses and if you're anything like me, you don't want to be spending four or five or even $100 on sunglasses that you may lose on a plane or in an Uber. So I suggest spending less for your sunglasses and just stocking up on the cheaper kind, but just making sure that you find the cheaper versions that are dupes or that look like the luxury style that you like or you just make sure that they're just made really well. I always make sure that my glasses are well constructed no matter at what price point I pay. My last sunglasses tip is to check your street vendors and thrift stores. So oftentimes you'll find really cool one of a kind glasses from street vendors that'll be anywhere from like five to $10 here in New York. And if other cities that you're in has street vendors, I would highly suggest trying them because of course they're gonna be cheaper and you'll just find some really unique styles. I also suggest that when you do go to the street vendors or if you purchase them from if you purchase your sunglasses from a street vendor or from a thrift store, just make sure that you clean them well. Use a disinfectant wipe just to get them nice and clean. But I definitely rep the street vendor life. I actually got these from a street vendor and they are literally my favorite pair of sunglasses. Okay guys, and that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned some things about my prescription and my eyeglass collection. Make sure that you subscribe and become a part of the family. I would love to see you around more often. Until my next video, I'll leave you in love, peace, and style. Until next time, bye.